With the Fit India movement gaining momentum across the country, the University Grants Commission has now decided to come up with an action plan to take Fit India campaign to higher education institutes. With a focus on promoting healthy living and healthier future, the plan suggests of setting up fitness clubs, talks by health specialists, organizing fitness activities, sensitizing people about adopting a healthy lifestyle and a complete ban on the junk foods in canteens within the institutes. But why do we need this movement? Figures suggest that 54% of Indians are physically inactive and less than 10% engage in recreational activities. World Health Organization states that an unhealthy diet and lack of physical activity have led to an increasing number of high blood pressure, blood glucose, elevated blood lipids and obesity. In fact, NCDs or metabolic risk factors lead to cardiovascular diseases, the primary reason behind premature deaths. We are going to see a huge further rise in non-communicable diseases. What we are seeing is people are succumbing to non-communicable diseases 20 years younger than their Western counterparts. So in your most productive years, at the time when you should be supporting your family, rising in your job, here you come down with a heart attack or a stroke and that incapacitates you because your potential to perform really goes down. In India, nearly 5.8 million people die from NCDs every year. One in four Indians have a risk of dying from an NCD before they reach the age of 70 years. According to the Indian Council of Medical Research, the estimated proportion of all deaths due to NCDs has increased from 37.09% in 1990 to 61.8% in 2016. While people are adopting physical activity in their daily routine, experts believe it is equally important to include safe and accessible public spaces in all areas and create safe roads and infrastructure for a healthier physical, social and political environment. The fit built environment, which was integral to our planning earlier, needs to be brought back. When we talk of fit built environments, it encompasses a whole range of things. For example, fit pavements. Pavements need to be as wide as the road to make walking comfortable, along with benches, interspaced and water fountains for people to be able to comfortable and be hydrated. Lush green trees on both sides and in the center of the roads, which will lower the temperatures by four to six degrees Celsius. Uh, it's provide the breeze factor, they are natural air conditioners, also lower the pollution level, so lower the PM 2.5s and PM 10s. Launched on 29th August 2019, the Fit India movement has today become a nationwide movement, encouraging people across the country to stay healthy and include physical activities in their daily lives.